And I would say the reason we're putting this in place is not to uh, be exclusive or elitist. We want everybody who is engaged in the program to genuinely run the risk of succeeding. So, uh, I mean, uh, for the program, you said, you know, there are three parts. Mm -hmm. Are each, like, is there a prerequisite and then you move to the other part? You have to pass the, I think, practical first and then theory. And then again, the research is the last part, right? The research is the last part. Um, so you do have quite a few steps to get onto the program and then to get to the point of even submitting the research paper. So the first thing you've got to do is get through the admissions stage. So you'll have to pass an eligibility check to okay. show that you're... Um, the, you've got all the right things in place before you even start. So that's that you've got the right qualifications, that you've been in the wine trade for at least three years, and that you are an active professional member of the wine trade. You then, once you've passed that check, part of the admissions process is to write an application form. So that talks about your motivations, why you want to become a master of sure. wine. It asks you to talk about, do you have the time? Because it's, you know, it's a big undertaking. Um, um, how are you planning to make sure you get everything done? And then you also do an entrance exam. So that's one... Uh, a physical entrance exam? So it's online, actually, okay. so that it's kind of a bit more accessible to people around the world. But uh, tasting and theory. So you'll do a dry... T well, a tasting with some wines that are seen, so you know what they are, but you'll okay. write a tasting note, and then a, a theory essay as well. All of that is looked at holistically. If you get onto the program, you're then in stage one. That's essentially a foundation stage. So at that point, you're not looking to actually sit the exam that I told you about, the yep. big practical and theory one. You're learning about what the MW exam is, how you might approach the questions. It. It's quite a big step from diploma. The way that you answer questions is quite different. And so mm -hmm. we're really trying to help people to understand how they do it. And for, that point. for the qualification part, you know, I think there, are, there is a myth or maybe a fact, like they, they say that you have to pass WSET first and then, you know, this and that. So what are the exact sort of, you know, who all can apply? So people who can apply need to meet the eligibility criteria. So those three are, the first one you mentioned is the diploma. So and it's is that not WSC? only okay. WSET diploma, it's that you have to have the WSET diploma or equivalent. So there are other equivalent organizations, okay. other equivalent qualifications. It might be a uh, BA in enology, it might be a oh, okay. MSc in viticulture, you know, there's other things that we would count as equivalent and we've got a sort of database of things that we Like a uh, microbiology course and all, even in the university courses, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wine making and, course. And, and I would say the reason we're putting this in place is not to uh, be exclusive or elitist. We want everybody who is engaged in the program to genuinely run the risk of succeeding. And our experiences is that people, historically, if they came in without that um, firm trade background and understanding or with a certain level of base knowledge, they just didn't succeed. And, and kind of morally, I feel that's, yeah. a, that's a little bit of a problem. So the reason we put these eligibility criteria in is just to try and identify those uh, high performing individuals who we genuinely believe. And I'm, yeah. when Sarah says it's a holistic study, it's an incredible amount of work that is undertaken by yeah. a, a small group of really committed MWs Absolutely. who are trying to find those people. We think no, that they we think they've got what it takes to succeed. Also, even let's say you got this hundred applicants, and then uh, after that, how would you evaluate who gets in the program? What happens then? So we'll look at everything that they've submitted um, okay. as part of their application. So we and that's and we meaning. Uh, like you and this office or no, a lot of MWs? a committee of MWs who okay. are called the admissions committee. So they oversee the process. And then we also get some other MWs involved to mark the entrance exam. So we get lots of different people to look at each uh, application and they'll mark the entrance exams or they might read all of the um, personal statements and things right. and give some feedback. And then all of that is collated. So for each individual student, we will be looking at all of their previous work history, where they've come right. from, how long they've been in the trade, their entrance exam marks, um, their reference, we get an MW reference as well, or mm -hmm. somebody else senior in the wine trade, we'll see how good that reference was. We'll look at the personal statement. We look across all of that and then try and make a balanced judgment about whether or not. I think, uh, I think, I think you really are gauging their discipline, discipline, right? Like, will they really be focused sure. and disciplined enough? Uh,